don't know where the Hitman series sits on the list of famous Danish exports. Somewhere beneath Vikings, Lego and pork products probably. But not too far. At any rate, the series, which has moved more than 8 million units over the years, certainly has plenty of fans. To muster up a few more, Hitman dev IO Interactive has seen fit to stitch together Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, Hitman Contracts and Hitman Blood Money in one convenient package. If you're concerned about the absence of the PC-only original, don't be. The best parts of it were reimagined in contracts. Here is your jacket, sir. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. The HD Turtle Wax doesn't flatter the Hitman series as much as it does, say, platformers like the Ratchet & Clank series or the Sly games. Colourful, heavily stylized games like the latter don't date as rapidly and have a habit of looking surprisingly sharp and sexy after a high-definition refresh. The visuals here in the Hitman collection are certainly crisp, but they remain quite plain. It's understandable, of course, considering Hitman 2 in particular is over a decade old, but it's worth mentioning. These are old games, don't expect a miracle. Absolution massaged the Hitman formula somewhat by dividing levels into discrete stages and featuring sections that didn't have a target to kill. The nature of Absolution's story mode, with 47 on the run, also meant he didn't have the luxury of selecting his weapons and gear before each mission. That's not the case here. The case here in Silent Assassin, Contracts and Blood Money is very simple. Choose your gear, enter a level, kill your target or targets, and leave. This is Hitman at its most pure. Absolution benefited from a variety of improvements that meant when a situation descended into a firefight, you could still play the game like a robust third-person shooter. The original Hitman titles featured in this collection were never designed to be played like that, so be prepared to be underwhelmed if you plan on blasting your way through. They're awkward games to play impatiently. The focus here is pure stealth, both gliding around undetected and hiding in plain sight, blending in amongst your enemies. There are plenty of disguises on offer to allow 47 to reach restricted areas, although if you're a bit rusty or playing these games for the first time, it may take some time to work out the wrinkles in the tension meter. It's slightly different from Absolution's blend mechanic in that you don't have to actively push a button to slip past enemies, but you do need to be very careful near them. Lingering too long near a guard or bursting into a jog at the wrong moment can render a disguise useless instantly. It's at its worst and most binary and silent assassin. One second you're covered face to foot in a firefighter's uniform, the next you're being cut down by gunfire for no apparent reason. Am I holding my axe wrong? Am I wearing the wrong aftershave? You'll never know. It does improve, in Blood Money suspicious guards will regularly challenge you first before opening fire, allowing you the chance to disarm them and defuse a poor situation. But yes, it can get as frustrating as you may recall, particularly on the harder difficulty settings with fewer mid-level saves. You learn to adjust, however. Trial and error, that's what Hitman has always been about. It's not just a stealth game, it's a puzzle game. The perfect hit is always there somewhere. You just need to put all the pieces together for it. Ah! Three games, 40 levels, and more than 75 hits, it's hard to fault the value. You also get the Hitman Sniper Challenge with this. If you're a long-time Hitman fan who's never been able to part with your copies of Silent Assassin and Contracts, but hasn't been inclined to squint through the low-res murkiness to replay them, grab this and take a trip back in time. If your only experience of Blood Money was on PS2, grab this, this is what 360 owners got, and this is how Blood Money was meant to look. If you missed them back in the day, grab this now and discover how gratifying stealing a man's clothes and whacking his boss can be. Wait, that came out wrong. Not the mood, bitch. They're definitely showing their age, but beneath the elderly visuals and slightly crusty controls lay the roots of a creative and rewarding series of games that probably don't quite get the credit they deserve. For more on Hitman, stay with IGN.